This is my Bellman CX-25. It makes fantastic coffee if you get it right, but it's pretty average the rest of the time. After six months of trial and error, what I once considered to be a useless lump of Bakelite and stainless steel has become one of my favourite machines to use at home. Following these steps, you'll be getting consistent cafe quality coffees every time. Firstly, dismantle your machine and essentially forget about the reducer attachment inside the basket. Because of its loose fit, it's only really useful for tamping. I usually use pre-boiled water in the interests of expediency, topped up to about the 6 mark on the scale inside the boiler, although this isn't critical. I've also turned the cone-shaped seal on mine upside down to try and seal the basket stem more effectively and prevent backflow. The Bellman works best when the basket is full to the brim and lightly tamped. I grind to around a medium espresso grind. Too fine and you'll have grounds coming through the top filter. Too coarse and the water from the boiler will move through the grounds too quickly. Freshly ground espresso roasts tend to give the best results. Place the basket into the machine and clean any grinds off the thread of the central stud. The head of the machine can go on in any orientation. I usually fasten mine with the coffee valve pointing away from the handle as that just works best for my stove. For the top nut, the tighter the better. Just make sure that you're able to get it off again. On the head of the machine ensure the top coffee valve is fully closed and the steam valve is fully open. For both valves, closed is clockwise. With the Bellman on the stove, it's crucial to use a very low heat so that the machine has time to warm up evenly and the coffee doesn't burn. After around 5 minutes or so, depending on your stove, steam will start to escape out of the steam wand and this means you're ready to brew. Keep the heat on your stove going and close the steam valve fully. Then, open up the coffee valve about 3 quarters of a turn. If you've gotten the process correct so far, then no coffee should come out. This is a good thing, and ideally it should be around 60 to 90 seconds before any coffee begins flowing. The longer the extraction time, then generally the stronger the coffee. As the coffee flows, the top valve may require some adjusting to keep the stream flowing nicely. The machine needs a little bit of back pressure to work properly, so don't be tempted to open the valve too much, or you'll get an explosive jet of horrible tasting coffee stained superheated water. Once the extraction begins to become light coloured or you start to get air bubbles in the stream, close the coffee valve. Then, turn the heat up on the stove to build some pressure for milk texture. After I've extracted the coffee, I'll leave the machine on the stove on a medium high heat for 3 minutes to build up pressure in the boiler. When the time is up, turn the heat back down to low and leave it on to help maintain pressure in the boiler while texturing the milk. With the head of the steam wand submerged in the milk, open up the steam valve fully. Then slowly lower the milk jug so the tip of the wand is just dipping into the milk, and stretch it as desired. In this first example I let too much air in and ended up with poorly textured microfoam and large bubbles on the surface of the coffee. In this second example, I didn't stretch the milk enough and ended up with really flat milk that couldn't produce any latte art. This third attempt is about as good as my skill level permits. Consistent microfoam and the nice velvety jiggle on the surface of the milk. Give the wand a quick purge and clean it with a wet cloth or sponge. I had a go at doing some latte art here. As usual, terrible. The copy, however, was excellent. The Bellman CX-25 really is a fantastic machine and will deliver excellent results if you use it properly. I hope you can get as much enjoyment from yours as I do from mine.